In this video, we're going over how to take a screenshot on the Moto G 5G, and I'm gonna show you how to print from your phone as well. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to take a screenshot and also how to print that screenshot, along with how to print other things on your phone shortly after. So, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you'll need to do if you want to take a screenshot is hold down on the volume down button and the power button at the same time for one second. So I'm going to position my finger on the volume down button and the power button and I'm going to do a countdown from three, three, two, one, hold, let it go. You'll see the screen flash. You'll see your pop up show up in the corner here. That's what your screenshot's going to look like. And then you've got to click that menu pretty fast or it's going to go away. Let's try it again. I'm going to do the screenshot from this page um, instead this time. So volume down, power, hold, let it go. It'll flash. And I'm going to tap on this pencil here. And this will allow you to edit your screenshot right after you take it. So I can drag the corners here if I'd like to make my uh, area smaller. I also have a pen tool I can use to circle or draw things on the screen and I have a few other options at the bottom here. Now when you're done, you can hit the checkbox to save it, the trash can to delete it, or the share button to send the picture to someone via text or email or using an app. So I'm going to hit the, checks, the check just to save the screenshot. Now, how would I print it now that I've taken this screenshot? Maybe you took a screenshot of an important document, an email, and you'd like to print a copy. Well, to do this, you're going to go to your Google Photos app. Now, if you swipe up on the home screen, you're going to look for photos. This is the app that will come stock on the phone. And we're going to tap on library, so go all the way to the right. And then you'll have a folder that says screenshots. It's going to create a folder for your screenshots. Tap on that and then tap on your screenshot. There it is. If I swipe to the left, there's my other screenshot. Now, if I'd like to print it, I'm going to go all the way up to the right corner and tap on these three dots in the corner. That's going to bring up the menu and then I'm going to slide this menu over until I see my print icon. It's all the way to the right. You're going to tap print. Now, Obviously, you're going to need a couple of things in order to actually print out this picture. First of all, you're going to need a printer that is wireless compatible. Um, and second, you will need Wi-Fi uh, where you are to send the picture to the printer. Now, I have a couple of models I want to recommend to you that are really great and that basically work with just about any Android phone. Um, the first one is going to be the Epson XP4200 then the Epson 5200 and the Epson WF2930. You should see a shopping cart either somewhere around here or somewhere around here. If you tap on that shopping cart, it'll take you to links to those printers and they're all on sale right now. Okay, let's keep going. Where it says select a printer, tap on the little drop down arrow to the right. And I'm gonna select, select my Epson ET2700. Now, this is a more expensive Epson model. It also works great, but I wanted to recommend models that were a little bit more cost efficient. So, uh, but anyway, you're gonna select the printer. Now also, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. That's the other thing. So if you tap on that little drop down and you don't see any printers here, the first thing you'll need to do is simply swipe down from the top of the screen and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. You can hold down on this little internet icon and under Wi-Fi, it should be on and you should see yourself connected to the Wi-Fi network. And um, once you do that, your printer should show up. Obviously, make sure your printer is set up and connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, once you select the printer, you're gonna see a little button on this side here. You're gonna tap on that and that is gonna send that picture to your printer. So this is how you print your screenshot. Now I wanna show you how to print other things on your phone as well as a bonus. So this is obviously how to print a picture. Let's talk about now how to print an email. Now if I go over to Gmail, I'm gonna tap on my Google folder, tap on Gmail, 
and I have an email up here ready to go to print, uh, all I'm gonna do is go to the upper right corner of this page here and tap on the three dots. And I'm gonna come all the way down to print. You'll see a print button there. And it'll look exactly the same. You're gonna select the printer. The button's gonna show up right here. Now it does take a few seconds for um, the printer to get ready. And basically, if you see what I'm seeing right now, you might think, what's happening? I don't see the button. Well, basically your phone is loading the page that it needs to send to the printer. So if you're seeing this on your screen, it's totally normal. You just need to give it a, a couple of seconds and just like that, it now loaded the entire email and now we can see it. It basically needs to show you a preview of what the print is gonna look like first and then you'll see that button pop up on the right side that you can then tap to send to the printer. You can also, just by tapping in this top section here, you can change the number of copies. Maybe you wanna print five copies instead of one. Maybe you wanna change it and just print in black and white. You can do that by selecting that option there. And you have a few other options you can also change before you hit this button, which is gonna send it to the printer. So that is how you print an email. Now lastly, I wanna show you how to print a website. So let's hit the home button here. We're gonna tap on the Google Chrome icon. I have a web page that is open and I would like to print what I see on this web page. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner, tap on these three dots, and then I wanna come down to share. And when you go to share, it brings up this menu and then you'll slide this bottom row to the left and that's gonna bring up your print icon. And guess what? Just like the other websites did, it's taken a minute for our preview to load, so just be patient. While the preview loads, come up here where it says select a printer, tap the drop down, select your printer, and wait until you see the preview of the print on the screen. Once that preview comes up, you'll see your print button, and then you'll be able to tap it and send this to your printer to get it printed out. So. Once again, guys, oh, there we go. It's up and it's ready to go. So, and there's our print button. So, a couple of things. I will have uh, those links in our little shopping cart. I, I wanna say the shopping cart should be here, but it could be here too as well. Tap on that shopping cart if you wanna check out any of those printer models. I'll also leave those models in the description section as well. So you can obviously tap on those links and check out where you can purchase them. The lowest price one should be around $80. At least that is the price at the time of this video. It could have gone back up. But either way, these are three really great models that um, are compatible with smartphones. As long as you set them up uh, in, in a place that has Wi-Fi, um, you should be able to connect to your home Wi-Fi and send um, things from your phone to that printer using this process. So, hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.